With this winter's cold weather comes freezing rain, um, ice, snow, and just overall frozen windshields. What uh, this this is kind of a public service announcement for the newer electric vehicle or Tesla owners. Uh, it's actually kind of changed a bit over time. Is the defroster button now your rear? That works like just about any other car in the world. You hit the rear defroster button, the heat coils or heat strips in your rear window will kick in and do their duty. Nice, diligently, and quietly. However, the front defroster works a little different. There are two settings, and I'm, before, I'm not going to turn them on yet. I'm going to just explain first because uh, you will not be able to hear me uh, with the, uh, the, the air noise whooshing through the cabin. Press it once, and that turns on basically cool air circulation to remove uh, fogging or condensation from your front window. It also turns on the uh, air conditioning compressor in order to uh, remove that moisture from the cabin to re prevent re-fogging of your windows. You press it a second time, and it also kicks in highest temperature settings and highest airflow. So let's do that. Setting one. Right now I can hear the air conditioning compressor kick in and uh, basically <coughs> excuse me basically the cabin temperature will remain what you had it set at. So the heat if, you, if it's cooler out the heat will counteract the air conditioner to maintain uh, your cabin temperature at its setting, so 75 degrees. So now we hit it one more time. Oh, you got it. It's kind of like uh, double tapping on uh, on your computer. So I hit it once. It went on, and then since I didn't do it right away, now it just went back to your regular my regular heat heat and cooling settings. So now we're going to do once, twice. Now you notice. The icon changed to red. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. The icon changed to red and the heat settings went up to high. And you can see everything here. Usually I have custom settings. <coughs> but everything here went to auto. Air conditioner is on to remove condensation and moisture. However, the heat settings are at maximum. Fan settings at maximum. And all air is being directed at the windscreen. Now, the air settings will go to maximum regardless if you have range mode turned on or not. I have range mode turned on. So we're going to shut that off. See how it went right back to 8? And my existing settings. Air conditioning compressor off. Uh, circulate air. And... I don't know why I didn't have it at that. There, that's what I had it at. So let's hit it again. Once, just air conditioning on and it maintains cabin temperature. Second time, maxes out your heat in order to melt whatever nastiness might be on your windshield. And given that this is Wisconsin, two weeks ago, Two and a half weeks ago, we had 75 degree weather. The kids were playing out in their kiddie pool. Last week, we had eight inches of snow and temperatures in the low teens. And today, it is 52 degrees, cloudy, and a little dreary out. Gotta love Wisconsin. So, let's shut this off now. I hope you were able to learn a bit about how the defrosting system works in this vehicle. Uh, it is actually, uh, now I have, there's two different versions of the dash vents. I have the original version and for those with the original version, it's basically it's just like a giant screen and there is a retrofit, free retrofit available from Tesla uh, that installs uh, little vents for higher airflow or more jet, st jet stream style airflow. Um, personally, I have never needed them, and I, I personally, my personal opinion is 
most of the people that had problems with the defrosting uh, were just too afraid to turn up the uh, the heating in in the heating and airflow uh, most likely to try and save battery power and range uh, which is understandable I did the same thing at first back when we didn't have superchargers or uh, any public charging whatsoever don't have to worry about that too much anymore and I find uh, the uh, ex the original uh, screen vent just fine uh, not saying that there's anything wrong with the newer vent I just like the look of the original and less uh, uh, um, uh, windshield glare when the sun's out uh, now those with the uh, jet stream yes it is a little better it does direct the airflow and uh, dissipate it a little little quicker um, both work just fine in my opinion uh, if you have the older style like I do don't be afraid to turn up the uh, the air the fan speed is at all so and keep that windshield clear don't drive with a iced windshield uh, if, if your windshield is starting to ice and the car is not keeping up which and the ice rain on a freeway you're gonna have that problem with almost any vehicle just either slow down so that way uh, that wind chill effect doesn't take over as much and you'll be able to thaw your windshield a little more as you drive or heaven forbid pull off the freeway or pull over for say 10 or 15 minutes just let it all thaw out and of course those of you with the cold weather package which is an awesome package uh, make sure you have the uh, windshield or excuse me the windshield wiper uh, def uh, um, uh, defrosters on um, there are heat strips inside the uh, windshield that keep your windshield wipers from freezing and that on the few loaners I've had that had that feature has been absolutely spectacular and anybody that's in a colder climate uh, the cold weather package that is out now is an indispensable product for the I think it's only seven hundred and fifty or a thousand dollars extra is a drop in the bucket for the additional performance it gives you any questions please put them down in the question um, the uh, comment below uh, don't forget to like and subscribe help me keep making uh, informative videos for you and happy Thanksgiving everybody smile cheese